So, I hope you remember there is a force called centripetal force. And it's, it's often said it's a fake, it doesn't exist. So, let me explain to you what this centripetal force is. In the satellite, there's no gravity. So everything floating around. And there's a gravity, there is a counteracting force. That is a centripetal force. Okay? This centripetal force counteracting gravity, so total gravity becomes zero microgravity and everything floating around. And that's what uh, most of people understand how it works. Okay. But the fact is, in the real physics, centripetal force does not exist, only gravity, okay? The reason is, if you are standing on Earth and look at the whole things, okay? Uh, what you see is only gravity force, and there's no source of the force. What centripetal force? There's no such a force coming from anywhere from space sun nothing only gravity force okay so then why everything floating in the satellite the, actually it's a perspective issue for people on earth that you look at the whole system and there's no centripetal force only gravity force existing but for people in the satellite, there must be a force. Otherwise, why everything is floating? So, what is this discrepancy? Why we have this discrepancy? When we talk of physics, you can't have a two different view for the same thing, right? Otherwise, it's a contradiction. Physics law doesn't uh, go very well with such a discrepancy. Okay. So here's the answer. The Newton's, Newton's law is based on the universal observer. Universal observer is, you know, there is an absolute reference point somewhere in the space and absolute time going. And astronaut point of view is not the Newton's the view. So you cannot use astronaut viewpoint floating in the air as the uh, uh, viewpoint of the physics. The, if we stick to the Newton's law, we have to use for this entire system the person standing on the Earth, which see only gravity. Okay? So there's no centripetal force. But, okay, you may argue, why then the uh, folks in the satellite see the centripetal force that's why it's balanced out and it's floating well the actually it's not floating it's it's a problem of perception you feel it's floating but you are falling actually you are falling by gravity but the direction you are falling is this direction okay so you are falling falling and it's because earth is round you keep falling forever and for example in the elevator you standing and if elevator start falling what's happened then you don't feel gravity anymore you feel floating okay this is the same situation you keep falling but falling in this direction and that's what is happening so everything floating in the satellite is exactly the same as everything in the elevator that is falling according to gravity okay so in the physics centripetal force is just a fake force conveniently conveniently used for the viewpoint of people in the satellite which is the 
this one, the math times the distance r, distance r from the center of Earth, and angular speed square, that's the centripetal force. And gravity is gm, gravity constant, and Earth's mass, and your mass, and 1 over r square. r is again the distance. Okay? So, if you make them balanced, this is the equation you feel everything floating. So, satellite is floating there. Well, actually, it's falling, keep falling around Earth. Okay, that's what this means. So, any satellite that satisfies this condition is going to be steady, just keep circling around. This is the equation for satellite to be going around the Earth. The mass, m, and only important thing is distance, r, right? And angular speed, omega. Okay. Now, how about we want to make a geostationary satellite? Geostationary satellite means, say, above you, there is a satellite, and the satellite speed is synchronized with Earth's rotation. So you see satellite at the fixed location all the time. Okay, so that's a geostationary satellite. So in order to uh, satisfy this condition, okay, this is the condition to be satellite. And angular speed, we calculate 24 hours per circle, right? So we plug in this, then we get this. So we can calculate the distance. 42,000 kilometers. So that means if you put the satellite from center of Earth, 42,000 kilometers here, then this satellite is going to go around together with Earth's rotation. So it's always above you. Okay? Or next satellite, or next satellite is always rotating at the same speed as. So that's why this height is very crucial for broadcasting because if you put the antenna on top of your roof you set the angle you get a signal from this satellite or you put angle different way you get a signal from this satellite and this angle never change it just keep going together with earth okay and that's why dish antennas so you get the uh, the broadcast by the dish antenna, you set dish antenna to certain angle to aim at one of these satellites. So how many satellites at this location? Many, too many. So right now it's so crowded, there are so many private and the government satellites around, and it's like the busiest orbit above Earth. So every some distance there is a, somebody's satellite going around okay and that has to be along with earth's rotation so it's it's around your um, equator line so this is the very crucial orbit among all the satellite okay i hope you enjoy this um, presentation and please check other video we have many others interesting subject thank you for listening